Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I'll show you how to make expenses billable in QuickBooks Online and how to add those expenses to customer invoices. I'll also cover when you should make expenses billable. To start, go ahead and click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen and select account and settings. From the Account and Settings page, select Expenses, and then turn on Billable Expenses and configure the additional settings. Essentially, you'll need to focus on the following fields to enable Billable Expense Tracking. Track Expenses and Items by Customer When turned on, QuickBooks will add a customer field to your expense and purchase forms allowing you to track items by customer. Make expenses and items billable. This allows you to make expenses, bills, and checks billable to customers in QuickBooks Online. When activated, you can configure the additional settings. Markup with a default rate. This enables you to specify a default markup rate that is applied to the cost of a billable expense. It will be an additional percentage added to the cost when billing the expense to the customer. Track billable expenses and items as income. This lets you specify how you account for the reimbursement of billable expenses. When turned on, the reimbursement, including the applied markup, will be reflected as income. When left unchecked, the reimbursement directly reduces the total cost of the initial expense. Next, you have charge sales tax. This allows you to include sales tax on billable expenses. Once you're done, click the green save button. Next, proceed to create the new QuickBooks billable expense or edit an existing one. To create a new expense, click on the white plus new button on your dashboard and select expense, bill, or check in the vendors column. Complete the expense form as you normally would and then mark the billable checkbox. Also, you'll need to specify the customer or project associated with the billable expense. When you're finished, click Save or Save and Close to record the new billable expense. To edit an existing expense, click on Expenses in the left navigation menu. Then select Expenses drop-down and find the item you wish to edit. To have the cost reimbursed, you must include the billable expense in your customer invoice. When creating an invoice, QuickBooks will display the billable expenses associated with the selected customer and or project automatically in the right side toolbar. Click on Add, and the billable expense will be included in the invoice. When the expense is added, QuickBooks will populate the relevant fields, including the amount, automatically. Also, QuickBooks will calculate the total billable expense, including the markup rate, automatically. Double check that all of the information is correct and mark changes if needed. Then click Save or Save and Send to send to your customer. 
Genuinely, you should create a QuickBooks Online billable expense when you incur costs on behalf of a customer or project and you intend to pass those expenses to your customer when invoicing. For instance, if you are a plumbing company and you purchase materials to use on a job, you can mark the expense billable and then have the customer reimburse you when they make the payment for the invoice. If you're working on a fixed fee arrangement where you've agreed to do a project for an agreed upon amount, then it does not make sense to make expenses billable since you don't need that detail on your customer invoice. In that case, you can still assign expenses to the customer or project to keep track for your profitability, but don't mark the expenses as billable. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.